I think we can undeniably say that it's been the biggest and the best Marxism conference ever. Uh, it's been a fantastic event where the left, revolutionary left, has got together and discussed a whole lot of issues and found that it has far more in common uh, than we probably previously thought. Well, I think it's been actually terrific. It's the first time I've been to Marxism. We had over 1,140 attendees. <laughs> It's been some, been some interesting sessions where there's been debate, which has actually been very comradely. The culture of debate and discussion at this conference seems to me to be really healthy. Marxism has been a fantastic discussion about how to change the world. It's been wonderful to see the number of people here and the number of young people here who are engaged politically and actively um, in looking at some of the key issues internationally and locally. Some of the highlight um, sessions for me was definitely opening night, having people from a bunch of different groups as well as a really inspiring speaker from America and from the Philippines. We've also heard from uh, a wonderful speaker, Tufik Hadid, about uh, the situation in Palestine. You have John Pilger in a huge overflow and packed house telling us how he feels what's happening. One of the really good things about the conference this year has been um, the appearance or the presence of Billy X Jennings, who is uh, a real life, genuine, Black Panther from the 1960s. I think this conference is a very wonderful thing. It's good to see young people taking hold of their own destiny. One of the features of this year's Marxism conference has been the School of Rebellion. It was a program for young people um, uh, with their parents attending the conference. We had uh, graffiti sessions uh, with uh, you know radical art. We had um, poetry. We had sessions on anti-racism. So I suppose we wanted to um, use it as a way to invite kids into participating in a very different type of learning. We even had a rebellion on our hands when they all lined up and said, we demand to go outside and play soccer. Well, I think we've taught them well in that regard. Uh, today, I, I helped organise a stand up for the bottom. Stand up! Stand up! Stand up! And today is Palestinian Land Day, and I'm glad to see everyone come down and celebrate for, in solidarity with Palestine. I think the, the left unity aspect of the conference has been an enormous success. I've been really impressed with it. The Socialist Alliance endorsed this conference. I think it's the first time we've done this as, as the Green Left Weekly and uh, a lot of our comrades came along to it. Like I said, from the get-go at opening night, there was a really positive atmosphere in the air with um, speakers from the RSP and uh, from Socialist Alliance as well as Socialist Alternative on the platform. Uh, I feel particularly privileged and excited tonight to formally announce the unity fusion of the Revolutionary Socialist Party with Socialist Alternative. <laughs> and tonight I have to say I'm feeling extremely hopeful about fruitful developments on the left in Australia and uh, across the world obviously. While we've had some uh, historical disagreements, it's important to recognise we agree on far more than what we disagree on. It's been fantastic having, uh, for instance, Peter Boyle uh, also be in, uh, s speak at the opening night. I think it's really exciting. I think it's, it's very clear from this conference that the revolutionary left would be stronger uh, together and that the debates that we've been having are clearly in encompassable in one organisation. The stakes are high. Uh, global capital is on the offensive. Uh, in Australia, you know, we're only just starting to feel it. Uh, and there's a need for us to find ways to unite uh, for, the, for the good of the working class movement. We've had a lot, of, lot more attendees from different groups this year, which I think is really reflective of the atmosphere of unity.